What's going on, everyone? It is I, Shuby, the sweet and yet rather salty for being not one of the select WB YouTubers who get to play characters a week in advance and post every day. I wouldn't mind early access, extra early access for people if there was like some kind of embargo to where there was like an even playing field. Uh, for me, that's one of my big issues. I want to make content for Spawn, about Spawn, but there's already at least three videos on almost every single topic you could think of for the Spawn character. And then for a lot of other people, and, you know, part to me as well, is that things are getting spoiled before you even get a chance to get your hands on the character. So you can have the combat pack, you get early access, but if you take a, a split second to look at any social media, things are going to get spoiled for you. And some of these people who got extra early access are even boasting about how many views that they got on their spawn videos. Like, eat a collective penis. Like, I hate you so much. I hate you ever so much. Especially when you put spoilers in the thumbnail. So, without further ado, Ski... I've already gone in and customized one of his loadouts and played his tutorial. But what I would like to do is talk with y'all about how I feel about the skins or his customizations, I should say. Uh, because if you all watched my live stream I did a few days ago, and I'm recording this live, but my live stream that I actually did a couple days ago... Uh, during the combat cast, and then I looked at IGN's video in regards to all of the gear and how I talked about how disappointed I was that we could not customize his mask, but instead we got 30 capes instead of 30 masks. I am still of that same sentiment. I would rather have four capes attached to skins and 30 customizable masks. Or replace anything with the mask. Let's be real. Give me four different boots, but let me customize 30 different masks. So, with that being said, I'm going to go in here and then change some of his cosmetics. I did already play the tutorial, and I went ahead and bought the bundle that is in the PlayStation Store right now. Because if anything in this game is going to be like Injustice 2. I'm going to end up with a lot more of those crystals than I need in the end. So, might as well use them up, right? Anyway, we're going to make this one Commando Spawn uh, because it is his, like, weapon, his gun variation. This one, I kind of don't like this skin. Uh, it's very Deadpool looking, I get that, but I kind of don't like it. So we're going to go ahead and tack that one on, which I got from completing the tutorial mode. And then for this one, we're going to go with our classic spawn look. And let's just go ahead and customize a boot for him. This demonic looking boot, which looks pretty wicked. We'll give him these spikes to accompany that demonic looking boot. And then for his cape, let's see if we can go a little commando with it. We'll just give him this more elaborate cape here. Alright, and for this one, we're going to stick with that cape because I feel like it kind of fits best. Which is the one. And then we're going to go ahead and tack on the metal looking pieces that I've unlocked. And then for this one, we're going to go all classic, baby. So we're going to go for his default stuff on this one. Just so we have our classic looking spawn. Now we do have another variation or another intro. And then we unlocked a fatality by doing a fatality. Uh, which is very easy to do when you have easy fatalities 
that you're able to perform just by holding the block button and hitting three or four. I believe I hit four to unlock that one. All right. So uh, my thoughts on the customizations. I mean, I love spawn, so I'm kind of biased. Uh, a lot of these are very comic oriented. Um, they derive at least from comic adaptations, whether that be in medieval spawn, uh, Witchblade comics, or Dark Ages spawn. There's a lot to be desired in this and kind of left to be desired. Now, I don't expect me to just be in awe of everything, you know, and everyone has their own tastes. Uh, this is probably my least favorite gear piece for his right boot or battle greaves as it's labeled it just looks like some steampunk elephant rhino combo thing i'm not a big fan of it uh, some of these like i said are way cooler looking than others and i really want to be able to make a medieval looking spawn and that would have been possible i believe if i could customize his mask uh but you know I digress. So let's go ahead and tack on his secondary to all those. We'll go back to the gear. Now the capes, which I was talking about, um, how I said, you know, give me four of these instead of four masks. I'm still kind of of that same sentiment. And I would still like to be able to customize a whole bunch of different masks. Uh, combining Commando Spawn skin with various masks I think would look cool. Some of these capes are pretty elaborate. Pretty neat. Uh, there's very few changes in the back. If you can kind of see the skull there. Let me toggle that off on the bottom right. Which, uh, let's just go, let's see if one of these has it and this one does so we're just gonna go ahead and go to photo mode turn around so this little guy here uh, a lot of the capes you know adjust and have that little adornment right there now there is no denying that this cape is glorious all the layers and everything else it just looks beautiful I feel like a lot more work had to be put in on that because they did 30 different styles. But, like I said, I would rather have 30 different masks to customize. So, some of these are pretty cool. Some of them are meh. And a lot of them are just variations of others. But I still, uh, I still am happy with the character. I'm still happy with his customizations overall but just a little saddened that I cannot customize his mask uh, because I would really like to mix up maybe this commando spawn mask with some of his other skins you know and that's you know that's maybe something I'll I'm gonna photoshop some stuff and see if I really really actually like it that way uh, to be able to customize the mask, which I think we all know. That's all I'm talking about. And, yeah, I would like to customize the mask. Now, when he's fighting, though, you're going to see the side profile of him. The cape is going to cover a lot of his face. So, the cape is really going to be what's showcasing during your fighting. So, optimistically, yeah, it, it looks uh, it looks cool. It looks cool. But to honestly give this a true opinion, I would have to unlock a couple more things, which I'm going to be doing pretty much for the rest of the day. I will probably be posting a reaction sort of video to the character ending because I've only seen screenshots, not the entirety of it. And yeah, I hope this video has found you well. I will be doing little videos like this throughout the week of Spawn being in the game. I'm a huge Spawn fan, and I might do some more live ones as well. I am Shuby. Please leave a like if you liked, and subscribe if you would like to keep up with me and my nonsense. I'll see you all in the next one. It's a free